Thank you, Jennifer. This morning, I got a phrase from a great writer, James Joyce, and the man said, in a Creole, neither the past nor the future important, the present that will matter. I can repeat it again. Neither the past nor the future important than the present that will matter. The present is the more important part. You know, sometimes people will live so much in the past, they remember all those negative experiences from the past, they can't go ahead, they can't advance. Always in the talk about the past, even if the past good or the past bad, it's not good for we stay stuck in the past. Live it, enjoy it, learn from it, and let's go forward. But you got the next type of people who are always live in the future. They always they escape from the present, they project to the future. And then project in a way of escaping from the present. So James Joyce said, neither the past nor the future important. The present is what matter. The present is so important. Why? Because the present is the connection between the past and the future. When you live in the present, you live the moment. That is what flow is the eternal present. After all, you no got no control from the past. What don't happen, don't happen. What coming you no control it neither. The only thing you got in your hand, that the present. Ilanio Philip, as a beautiful hymn said, one day at a time, live today. Do what you do today. Dedicate yourself, enjoy today. You don't know it coming tomorrow. But remember, tomorrow depends on the way you live today. That's why James Joyce, and totally agree with this phrase. Neither the past nor the future is so important. Because when you give it so much importance, you last the present. You make the present escape from you. And the past will be one eternal frustration, deception, disappointment. But when you learn to live the present, when you learn to live the now, right now, you want to see how life becomes sweet, different. You're going to enjoy every minute and you're going to pass it the best you can today. I repeat it again. Neither the past nor the future is important. At least it's not so much important. The present is where matter. Make we learn to live the moment, one day at a time. That is very wise philosophy of life. I want to traer una frase de un gran escritor, James Joyce. Y él dice en palabras muy sencillas: El pasado ni el futuro es tan importante. No hay pasado ni futuro. Todo fluye en un eterno presente. Repito: No hay pasado ni futuro. Todo fluye en un eterno presente. Tenemos muchas personas que viven anclados en su pasado. Normalmente en psicología, cuando una persona tiene mucho pasado en su mente, tiende a sufrir depresión, porque ciertamente retiene sobre todo las experiencias negativas del pasado. Pero aquellas personas que tienen mucho futuro en su mente, tienden a sufrir ansiedades, porque quieren atrapar el futuro, asegurarlo y tampoco lo logran. Por eso es tan pertinente la frase de James Joyce, ni el pasado ni el presente, ni el pasado ni el futuro, el eterno presente, fluya en el presente, un día a la vez, dice un himno cristiano muy significativo, nos enseña a vivir el ahora, nos enseña a adueñarnos del hoy, a tomar en manos el hoy de nuestras vidas y créame, sin que tú te des cuenta, estarás construyendo su futuro, cogiendo, adueñando del presente. Lo importante es el eterno presente que fluye. Y va el momento, disfruta de la hora. Tampoco les estoy diciendo que vivan como si mañana no tuviera ningún tipo de compromiso. Pero lo que quiero enseñarles es que cuando tú te dedicas a construir el presente, a adueñarse del presente, a personarse del hoy, no vivirás ni de nostalgia ni de añoranza. No vivirás ni en el pasado ni en el futuro. Te encargarás, disfrutarás del momento. Dice una bella canción cristiana, un día a la vez. Y es el hoy. Es lo único que tú tienes en tus manos. James Joyce, totalmente de acuerdo. Gracias por esta frase tan pertinente.